Tonight's 7 Eyewitness News reporter Olivia Proya goes in-depth, showing us how Western New York battled a big spike in COVID cases and what this summer could look like if people stay safe. Western New York never lived the full pain of a COVID's wrath. November 18th, Governor Andrew Cuomo declared parts of Erie County an orange zone. Western New York had a 5.1% seven-day average positive rate, with specific areas nearing 10%. Dramatically higher than anywhere else. December 25th, Western New York's COVID seven-day average positive rate climbs to 6.2%. Exactly two weeks after Christmas, on January 8th, Western New York's seven-day average positive rate jumps to 8.4%. Well, we had a bump related to the religious holidays and New Year's and bit of a bad run that sort of began uh, a number of days after Christmas and really continued into the first week of January, uh, maybe the first week and a half. But over the last 10 to 14 days, we've really done a lot better. By January 23rd, Western New York's seven day average positive rate drops to 5.9%. That's right on par with the state's most recent seven day average positive rate at 6%. Recently, we've been doing better than the state uh, overall. University of Buffalo's chief of infectious disease, Dr. Thomas Russo, says Western New York's positive rate will continue to drop, contingent on three factors. One of which will be if we're rigorous with public health measures and continue to avoid risky activities such as gatherings indoors without masks. Secondly, as we are able to vaccinate more and more individuals. And then lastly, as weather improves, we're able to shift gatherings from indoors to outdoors. Dr. Russo believes if all goes well, New York's amount of new cases will be nearing zero by summer. All pandemics will end and so will this one. Olivia Proya, 7 Eyewitness News.